Ghosts. One of the most infamous sightings in Gorilla Tag. And the reason why so many people play Gorilla Tag today. Ghosts have been terrorizing the Gorilla Tag community since before me or almost all of you guys were even playing Gorilla Tag. Today, I'm going to be going over whether they're actually real or not. Because I see a lot of conflicting opinions. I'm going to give my side of the story. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, obviously be sure to like and subscribe because it's free and it has minimal effect on your YouTube account. Also, I know I say this every video, but if you're lucky enough to be watching this before I'm at 15,000 subscribers, then subscribe to get your OG ticket to my channel. This way you can say to all your friends in a year's time, I will subscribe to our tiny VR before he hit 15,000 subscribers. And depending on how many subscribers I'm on, that would be a pretty cool thing. So be sure to subscribe. Join the Discord in the description because we're looking for moderators very soon and the content creator role is still available and until July you're able to claim your OG ticket which is only in a few days so be sure to join before the OG role goes away on the server. Huge thanks to Riper Rifle for the thumbnail, his channel is in the description, go subscribe to it. And the random shout out today, he joined the Discord, liked the video and subscribed. This guy, his link is in the description, go subscribe to him on YouTube. Let's get right into the video. If somehow you don't know what ghosts are, they're gorilla characters who terrorise, ban and lag other people's games and have been a nuisance or a cool thing to go find since the beginning of Gorilla Tag. What was the first sighting you may be asking? Well, they became famous in J Man Curly's first ghost video and that was the real beginning of ghosts in Gorilla Tag. And ghosts are very much linked to ghost codes and scary maps such as OG Caves, which I'm in right now. By the way, this is my official fan code if you want to join it. Hopefully there's no one in there right now. I forgot to join it for the last clip. Some examples of ghosts are ghosts such as PBBV, Daisy09 and Echo. And these ghosts are incredibly rare to find nowadays because most people have just started new ones themselves and this leads me on to my next point which is that most ghosts are 100% modders because you see a ghost every single day and it's no secret that ghost trolling videos are a huge thing on youtube so there is a ghost called run which you may be familiar with and i can officially confirm that that is not a ghost that is always a modder most ghosts which are seen nowadays are modders and almost 90 percent of them but for ghost hunters it can still be a fun thing to try and find these ghost hunters because there's always a risk of getting banned and stuff like that if you're a ghost hunter please comment below and i'll see if i'll see if i can reply to your comment as long as you just subscribe they'll do my best to reply tell me some insights because i don't know that much about ghosts but i know you guys do so if you're a ghost hunter be sure to comment but are ghosts real? We still don't know. Well, Gorilla Tag's moderators, admins, and Lemming himself have all publicly said on record that Gorilla Tag ghosts are not real. And having checked the files myself and other people having checked them, there's probably not any ghosts. Because there's no obvious ghost in the files, like random machines that move about by themselves, like AIs or stuff like that. But there's always a possibility that Lemming's hidden it somewhere in the code that we just don't know about and he's lying about it to make it a much more interesting game and it's sort of working because Gorilla Tag's getting new players every day who join because they want to see ghosts. Since the beginning of Gorilla Tag, ghosts have terrorised people and I believe that perhaps there is a possibility, a very small one albeit, that ghosts are in fact real, non-human, AI robot type things just wandering Gorilla Tag. Now why would this be if Gorilla Tag haven't done it themselves? Well to be quite frank with you, hackers and other third party like tech companies could have perhaps put code on a bunch of VRs and mods to terrorise the Gorilla Tag community and I don't really know their reason for this if they were to do this so this is a very small possibility. But a lot of these reasons have come from people in my Discord, and I thought this one was quite interesting, so I thought I might include it. Whatever the truth is, Gorilla Tag Ghosts are an incredibly interesting part of Gorilla Tag, and the crucial step in Gorilla Tag's popularity. 
I think anyone, including Lemming himself, would admit that Gorilla Tag wouldn't be where it is today without ghosts. No, no way, I missed that. Ain't no way, bro. So, are Gorilla Tag ghosts real? Well, it's hard to tell, because we, honestly, we don't know. I think that there is a possibility that ghosts are real, but for now, my official answer will be no, they are not real, but there is a chance that perhaps some are. We know for a fact that most of them are just modders, and if you want a way to check, which is really helpful, you can click the name and when you click report on the leaderboard if the ghost leaves then it's just a hacker because on lots of mod menus they have a auto leave anti-report system meaning that they can't actually get reported without leaving so if someone gets kicked after you click their name report in leaderboard then you have a huge chance that that is in fact just a modder but if they don't leave and they keep doing their thing playing the music doing all sorts like that then there's a chance just a small chance that that is in fact a real ghost thank you guys so much for watching if you've learned something or enjoyed this video or if you've got this far be sure to comment the word parrot and you can ask any question along with it and as long as you're subscribed i'll be replying to your comment thank you so much for all the support recently thanks for 14,000 subscribers this is like really good growth at the moment because I've got 10,000 subscribers in the last month. So thank you guys so much for that. And be sure to subscribe for your OG ticket. Thanks for watching and peace.